Hello friends, welcome to Sukumo Tutorials once again. So far we have seen digitization of polygons, independent polygons. Suppose you wanted to digitize adjacent polygons like your districts, say Tamil Nadu districts you want to digitize. There will be a common boundary between one district to another district. Similarly, in a district, if you want to digitize taluk boundary, there will be a common boundary between one taluk to another taluk or villages. So, there will be a, when you digitize uh, polygons of administrative units, you have to digitize carefully. When you digitize, normally you can without any problem, you can digitize it. For the beginners, there will be a problem. So, for that, I am going to teach you some trick or technique. If you follow that, in the beginning itself, you can correctly digitize it without giving a gap between one polygon to another polygon or overlapping of polygons. Let us see how we can do that. Let us see how we can digitize polygon of common boundary without overlapping and giving gap for which you have to open a raster map. Go to Data Source Manager, Highlight Raster, go to your folder, see my folder, I have District TIFF, this is a raster map, I am just clicking that, opening it, adding and close it. So your raster map TIFF file has come to the canvas and then it is georeference. If you see the coordinates, you can see the latitude and longitudes. Now for which we have to create a polygon. So what we should do, we have to go to layer, create layer, new shape file you have to create, click the folder in which you want to create polygon. So I am going to this folder, typing districts. So I have given a districts name, it is in shape file. Save it, then select the geometry type, it's a polygon, leave the protection, that is a WGS84 as it is, then add new field name, because you have given only ID, you are adding name field, so two fields are come, one is ID, another one is name, save OK, once you save OK, now it is ready for digitization. Before that, you have to see, you have to enable snapping. Go to this particular thing, red color U, U shaped red color marking is there, you highlight. It is enabled. Then you go to option, here three options are there, allow overlap, avoid overlap, and follow advanced configuration. You follow, you just Highlight avoid overlap. So it is being highlighted. Snapping enabled. Now you have to start digitizing. Before digitizing, you zoom it to some level. It should be as enlarged level as level. You can enlarge it so that your accuracy level increase. If you keep it in zoom low level, your accuracy will be less. So now you go to the toggle, you highlight this districts, go to editing toggle, your add polygon to has come, bring it, press your left mouse button and tip on corner, then you start digitizing. When you zoom it to this level, your accuracy level will be up to area calculation will be very high. Editing problem will not come later. So you have to see the so you press the upper arrow key. 
So we can see the top portion of the converter voltage speed. You have to carefully digitize it, then press the down arrow key, Then press right button, completed. The ID you give one. And then in the name you type Tanya Tamari district. Tanya Tamari. So there is a district name, say OK. You have digitized one district that they Tanya Tamari. So this is Thermal valley district. This is a conductivity. This is thermal valley district. You have to digitize the adjacent district. So you just use the grab, same zoom level, to bring it, and then you have to start digitizing. So go to add polygon feature, click it, your plus mark has come, just to bring it to the one corner. You see this mapping, see this coming, one square is coming, starting, click the left button of the mouse, and then just keep. Adding nodes. So now you are following the outline of the thermal valley district in raster format. And you want to see a proportion. Just after your key, press come. So, want to see upper, press the upper arrow key, you can see upper arrow key and right arrow key. So, now you are able to see properly the top portion of the thermal valley display. Further press down arrow key. Come to the coastal area. Okay. 
click it here. So once you click it, you will not go along this boundary. You can just normally you have to go along this boundary. Now for this part is you will not go along this and then you have to click it anywhere. See inside. Okay. So I will go here. So right click it. This over give two. Two means this ID two and this is terminal value this way. Terminal value you have given. So now it appears as if you have just to overlap on the near terminal district. So once you press OK, see disappears. Now zoom down. Okay. Now go to selection tool. Click terminal value. See that overlapping has not come. Just it followed automatically the common boundary. There is no gap. Similarly, uh, highlight the memory. It is perfectly agreeing with terminal value. So there is no overlap. There is no gap. This is how you have to digitize without overlapping, giving gap. After finishing this, you have to save it. Don't forget to save this. Okay. Otherwise. When you complete each and every part again, you have to save it. This is very, very important. Otherwise, everything will get erased. Thank you. Hope you have understood the basics. Main thing is we have to click the setting. Enable this snapping. Enable this avoid overlap. After, after that, you have to digitize it. Any adjacent common boundary layers can be done like this. Hope you understood the basics. Practice it. If you like it, press the bell. Share with your friends, subscribe it so that future classes will be available for you. Thank you so much.